hey guys. guys welcome back to our channel plots with a twist where we discuss books amongst other things and today we're going to be discussing the silent patient by mm -hmm. alex she got the name mika lady ladies mika ladies i think that's how you say it uh -uh. all right well let's get into it okay so um this book was suggested to us by my good friend tony my bestie hey um and it's actually a popular book going around on all the the you know book the places sites. Mm -hmm. and initial thoughts you want to get into a summary or you want to go summary school? okay let's do a summary so, so my my bestie been asking for a shout out so hey girl hey <laughs> hey <Bridget. laughs> She actually picked this as like our official non-reading book club book because them they don't be reading. They don't read. But we have a, a an official official book club with some of our friends and um yeah, we just, you know, asked them to join us. We dang near threatened them to read sometimes. But yeah, this was our selection for the month of January. So y'all better be reading. If you're watching this right now, pause, go ahead and finish the book, and then press play. Mm -hmm. But um yeah, so basically, it's a mystery thriller mm -hmm. about a guy, a therapist. It focuses on his therapist name. What was his name? The Theo. 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 I was about to say Theo. Theo. <laughs> Theo. Oh, yeah. Anyway. My bad. <laughs> but yes, yeah, Theo. <laughs> Alfie. Um, so Theo is a psychotherapist that basically is drawn to this case of this woman or trying to, you know, allure to to treat her at this place called the Grove um, in London. And basically sh this woman named Alicia, she's a notorious um, art, art, artist. She's a notorious <laughs> artist known for murdering her husband. Mm -hmm. And basically they have a seemingly perfect life. So the fact that she murdered her husband was kind of spur of the it was moment. A shocking like event that yeah. shook the whole, like it was she all in the tabloids and all that type of thing. Right, so no one knows why because, as the book's title suggests, she is the silent patient. She doesn't speak a word after the events of her husband's murder. And even on trial, she never defends herself, which lands her at the Grove, which is a psychiatric facility. Oh, Six it? years later, a position opens up and in enters Theo. So basically, the story goes into him trying to try different methods to get her to talk him um just connecting to different people in her life to try to see if he can get some background on her as far as her childhood her upbringing maybe some other people that have had other relationships with her to so just see if he can kind of try different approaches to get her to talk and see what maybe this what was a traumatic something that may have sparked this type of reaction out of her mm -hmm. um that's pretty much it of the plot, really. Yeah. And then through it, like, he kind of, like, goes through his own journey of becoming why he became oh, yeah. a psychotherapist and his trauma and what he had to deal with and kind of relating it back to um, Alicia, the woman who killed her husband. Is that her name? Yeah. So, I said it. Oh, did you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically the plot, the summary. Um, what did you, how did you feel about it? What did you like about the book? So, what I liked about the book, I like. I do like how it was told. I feel like the, the premise of the story was somewhat original in that you have this psychotherapist coming in and he's treating this woman and you're like, oh, what's going on? Why is he, you know, drawn to her? What's going, what's going on to make him even want to try to help her? Mm -hmm. Even as they make progress, you're like, oh, okay. That was kind of weird. So I think it was kind of, I don't want to say unique because I'm sure there's other stories like this out there, but I haven't read any other stories that had the same kind of plot going on. Mm -hmm. So I think I did like the, you can't even really say originality of it, but, but like, I did like the premise of it and how the plot like went mm -hmm. um, as far as this being some type of, you know, she did it. Or it's strongly inferred that she did it, mm -hmm. and then you just don't know the why. So that to me was type was interesting. Um, what else did I like? 
Um, <laughs> it was a quick read. <laughs> it was. It was. It, it read very fast. Mm -hmm. What did you like about it? So, um, I like the speed of the book. Like I said, it was a quick read. It kind of it, it kept you engaged because you kind of just with most mysteries. If it's a good mystery or thriller, you kind of want to see what's going to happen. And I will say that it kept me like I kept reading because I'm like, okay, where's this going? What's going to happen? So I did like that about it. Um, see, it's hard. Like, <laughs> you looking at it like something's gonna pop out of yeah. me. Like, I, don't know. I mean, I guess I like the um, the premise of like him being a psychotherapist and how it comes together in the end. Um, I did like enjoy that about without giving too much away. I did enjoy that about the book, but all right. So, what did you it. not like about the book? So, it was, and I know you probably got more things that you don't like than I do, but I. <sighs> So just in the beginning, the first few pages of the book, I didn't like how Theo, he's the narrator of the book, um, is told from his perspective, how he just was like judging everybody. Like, oh, he would always be like, oh, this guy's handsome, this guy. Oh, she's not, not that he said that like, she's not that attractive, but it was like, he was just constantly like judging people's looks. And to me, it was kind of like, it didn't really have a, why was he doing that? There was no like, so like Reason. that's a like yeah you the, know, the like, author's choice to use to, to I guess making him that type of person but he he did it so often to me that I just felt like why does he keep doing this like why he keeps saying like this man is handsome or the, you know like I don't know that was weird a little weird to me um I didn't like. I didn't like the ending. I didn't like the. Um, <laughs> That's the whole story. I know. Yeah, I didn't like the the plot twist that it did have because it did have um some and I just to me it didn't really. I'm not gonna say it didn't make sense. It just didn't come together that well. Um, I feel like it could have been done because the story throughout was good. It was engaging, but once it started to get to the end, that's nothing I didn't like. Once it started to get to the end, he he dragged like the um the ending of it um the the climax of it like he just dragged it and dragged it to the point of where it was like okay like, what, it. What's gonna ha <laughs> what is happening like what is the point like it was a lot of a lot of things that i felt the author could have left out that just didn't need to be there as far as like i don't know what the characters were doing um yeah that's that's all i could think of right now i'm pretty sure some more will come to me as you mentioned <laughs> All right, so what I did not like. So when I first picked it up, and like I said, I thought the the plot and the synopsis of it was somewhat um, unique in how, the approach. But as I start saw it, as I started to read, I was like, okay, okay. And then I was like, this isn't going to be like a sensationalism type book or how you say it, sensationalist book. And then as I was reading, I was like, oh, it might be. Mm -hmm. Oh, it might be. Oh, it is. And so it kind of tricks you in thinking like, you know how like th they call those sensationalist books that like write a certain or is written a certain way to create mass appeal or to create that wow factor or to basically get people to read it, mm -hmm. to get it off the shelf. And I didn't want to put that book in that category, but it he felt, definitely the way he yeah. wrote the ending was like, oh, this is going to get people going. Right. Like, no, it didn't. So it didn't that was... <laughs> That was very kind of deceitful, like, in a way. I mean, there's so many books out there that does that, so it's not really deceitful. It's, I mean, of, of course. It was disappointing with this Right. Book, it, was it had such good, like, promise in the beginning. That's <laughs> it. It was disappointing. But okay. also, like you said, like, with the, he was like, everybody's handsome. Everybody's this. The, oh, yeah. the descriptions were, like, very simple and mm -hmm. repetitive and. Very simple. <laughs> and I read I read some reviews online because I'm like maybe I'm just not connecting with the book or maybe I'm missing something maybe some of these choices were intentional mm -hmm. to to drudge up some type of emotions or drudge up some type of thoughts but then other people was talking about like yeah most of the women fits a certain type of stereotype most of the men fits a certain type of stereotype like everyone was kind of like a caricature of like what that person would be in like Oh, you have the person who has a chip on his shoulder for no reason. You have this sassy black woman who is the manager and shuts stuff down. You have, you know, this nosy neighbor that, ooh, I just want to talk because I'm so vain. Like, everything was, yeah, like, yeah. a super stereotype. And I'm just, like... And just, like, not well, like, just really simple, like you said, mm -hmm. and just, like, late to lazy, like, lazy character building. Right, basically, because mm -hmm. even the character building he did do, it was, like... <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. 
Like, but the other thing, like you said, with the plot twist, I don't think it was executed well. I just think it was in your face. It wasn't, I don't want to say it was necessarily predictable because I kind of saw it, but I, I didn't. I think it was predictable. I don't want to say it was predictable. But it was underwhelming. It was underwhelming and it was a little forced because mm -hmm. a lot of times, so without giving too much away, it does kind of transition between him um, treating Alicia and his own marital problems. Mm -hmm. And you're throughout reading, you're like, what does one have to do with the other? Right. So, and then when you realize in what way they're trying to tie these feelings and these thoughts to him treating her, it's like, okay. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's stories that kind of play around with narratives and play around with perspectives that successfully come together and it's like mm -hmm. oh okay i kind of saw that going but yes it was you know executed well i just mm -hmm. don't think it was executed well it was kind of forced like basically it felt like he had the end first and went back and filled mm -hmm. i don't know yeah yeah that's what it felt like like but yeah i mean, I mean it was a quick read <laughs> <laughs> so we well, didn't really so what what did you rate it I, I, I gave it three stars. I think I did too. I gave it a three because I finished it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, started off promising. Right. And I wanted to finish it as I was reading. There was not, except for like the ending where it was just dragging. There was not a time that I was like, oh, I'm, I can't get into this. I always wanted to know what was happening. One, one wanted to know what was going on. But as it continued and the story got more and more to the point, it was just like, okay, like why? Right. <laughs> why did he choose this way? But. Would you recommend it? I no, I'm gonna forget about I'm gonna forget about this book in like three months. You know, like it's one of those. Yeah. She always asks me that, and I'm all my glass is always less full than this. Not this time. It's stuff going on, y'all. <laughs> all right, yeah. I I mean, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't. I don't know. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't recommend it because I feel like with certain books. I feel like I'm like, oh, oh, I thought about this the other day. Mm -hmm. I'm like a book sommelier. Ooh, ooh, okay. big words, fancy words. But yeah, <laughs> my neck is not showing. <laughs> um, but I feel like how with, you know, you pair start certain things with certain people mm -hmm. and stuff. I feel like I would recommend it to a specific type of person. Okay. So, um. That's fair. I don't, like. I feel like if someone wants something more thought provoking, something more like deep, something more um, nuanced, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't. But if it's someone who just wants a thrill of a story and a quick read, yeah, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh yeah, it was cool. I mean, I feel like I wouldn't not. I wouldn't. It's not one of those books that I would come to mind because people ask me all the time, like, "Oh, what's a good book to read?" That's not something I would say. Oh, read this. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't discourage anybody from reading it either. Because I'd be like, "You might like it." Yeah, exactly. It's one of those that some people like. I could see some people like it. Why they like, like certain it. shows mm -hmm. I watch. I'm like, I can see why you like it, but mm -hmm. to me, this acting is bad. This mm -hmm. like right, I, right. I nitpick stuff. So yeah. I mean, that's just me though. Yeah. So that's that. The Silent Patient by Alex Mikulides. If you guys have read it, let us know what you thought. If you shared any of our opinions about it. Um, or if you disagree. Yeah, if you Let's disagree, fight. let us know. Let's... We can definitely fight. So that's that. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.